This is my PvP hardcore Iron Man. It has only one life and is only playable in PvP worlds, meaning anyone can attack me. In this series, I'll be attempting some of RuneScape's greatest challenges, and if you manage to kill me, you'll get this much money. Picking up right where we left off, we are of course in the Sorcerer's Garden. And in this garden, I can steal squirt fruits for thieving experience and herbs for farming experience. It's a great place to actually start off my farming and herb lore journey. I'm going to stick around here until 20 farming or so. I'm not sure about how many that should net me, but it should net me an easy amount of herbs. And that is one of many inventories to come. With this final run in the ice area, that's 20 farming which is the requirement for Garden of Death, which should give me some really good farming experience in the future. I think it's around 10,000 experience or so. I haven't actually done it yet on my main. Quickly grabbing some essential herbal or supplies. Whilst I'm in the area, I might as well spend my marks of grace on the gloves as well. And there is 10 herbal or that's the last requirement I need for a dig site. That's biohazard done. With biohazard completed, I can now actually complete another Ardy Diary task. So that's just two left to go. <laughs> And that is the second most annoying quest in the game, completed. What's really important for me right now is to get my HP as high as possible, as there's so many pure builds which can one-shot me. Outside of the Karamja Diary, every easy diary I complete will give me around 2,500 experience, which I can then use on hit points. And I think in total there are around 9 or 10 which I can actually do. I need some magic levels to get me through the next quest, I don't think my Iron Dagger P is going to hold up too well every time I'm going to have to reset attacking. And that's another Karamja Diary task completed. I've been trying to poison this experiment for like five minutes now. Okay, I gave up. I just wasn't, I wasn't hitting. I gained a few more, more magic levels and combat levels in the process, but I need to get magic up at some point anyway, so I'm not too bothered. I beg. I beg, do not make me do this again. 6,300 hit points boots me up to a comfy 26 health. That's not too bad, actually. My stats are a little bit out of balance right now because I've been maging quite a lot, so I need to be careful that I'm not unbalancing my stats too much so I can actually maximise my hit points XP and levels. We got one hit point level there and unfortunately another combat level which wasn't planned. Oops. And using my trusty assistant, we can complete the Shield of Arrive quest incognito. Although this is painstakingly slow, I think I'm going to thank myself in future for using this poison dagger. Right, we have reformed the shield of Arav for a bit of GP. I always thought this was going to be some sort of legendary shield back in RS2. But more importantly, I can speak to the historian for an XP lamp, which I'm going to use, you guessed it, on hit points. We've got another combat level, but there's another hit points level as well. So that's not too bad. This is a pretty good gem store, which I've been using to get some cheap gems, which you can get me some easy teleports around the game. And there is our first games necklace. Eight teleports, which should get me around... Oh, just like the gold rush of 1848, we're panning for some money. But not gold this time. We're, of course, panning for sponsors. Speaking of which, let me introduce you to today's sponsor. It's the Nary Hipples channel, a channel filled with cheese and fun. Subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave a comment, boost my Discord server and you can even give a super thanks. These are all ways you can support my channel and help feed my dog. <coughs> I've been troweling this dirt for like 10 minutes now. Okay, that's the dig site completed finally, which gives me 35 mining and 17 herb lore. Great success. Ooh, a clue. I can do that. That's not too hard to get, so I think I'm going to hold on to this for future. 40 mining. I can now mine gold. For the Karamja Easy Diary. Or one of the tasks at least. Another one. Another one. Another one. Whoopsie. I absolutely forgot to record this, so that's the last task completed. Bird's Eye Jack is going to give me my Antique Lamp, which I can use on any skill over level 20. And yes, it is going on hit points. I tried to find another more exciting way to get pure essence, but uh, this is the only way I can get pure essence at this level. Does anyone even remember doing this for 30k an hour? Let me know. Hippity hoppity, give me that task omity. And with that Temple Guardian dead, I have now uh, opened up the gates of hell, uh, apparently. Yes, we are going to be taking risks, so uh, yeah. I don't give a fuck. We've rescued a priest in peril for 10 prey levels. Pretty good. And we give this man his head back for another four prey levels. Not bad. 
Now that I've unlocked the Swamp Lands, I can use the Canopus course for the quickest marks of grace, I think it is. And for now, at least the best experience. That is 50 agility. Graceful legs acquired. First pyramid top of the video for 10,000 gold pennies. And another 40k later and we are buying some more Chronicle Chargers as we were getting desperately low. The Rogue set will give me the best mage defense possible at this combat and I eventually need to get it as it'll come in handy later for money making and seeds grind. So time for a bit of thieving. Call me a genius but look if you turn your camera sideways you can just click the same spot over and over. Whoa! Who would have known this is a 900 IQ skilling video? 40 thieving! It feels like a waste dropping all these fruit. I'm a PvP hardcore I man. I can't go around wasting supplies like this anymore. There we have 50 thieving. I think I'm going to stop there for now. We also have a nice collection of fruit. I have no idea what I'm going to use these for, but, you know, Iron Man things. Just going to craft another sapphire necklace and also a sapphire amulet, which I'll need later. Uh, whoops, I forgot to record again. There is the dwarf subquest completed and making history for a bunch of crafting and prayer experience. 25 crafting and 18 prayer. Not bad, not bad. For the last Ardy Diary task, unrust my sword, please and thank you. That is all the easy Ardy Diaries completed for our first two and a half thousand XP lamp and a very, very, very useful cape and teleport. And of course, I forgot I can't actually use this as I need 30 hit points. <coughs> Talking to the historian again, and we get another lamp to push us up to that 30 hit points, so I can now use this diary lamp for another level. And there's another bot down. With the mining of this clay, we have completed all of the easy desert tasks for another two hit point levels. Hey, that's pretty good. I could have venomed these on my main, but killing these with mage grants me a few more levels than I wanted, but I'm not too bothered. But there is Shiloh Village done, and I get 29 crafting from that. Oh, well, there you go. That's three confirmed kills. I might have to start using the KD tracker. And now the journey begins to complete RuneScape's most annoying quest. <coughs> and after about 20 Deadman modes, I have definitely learned from my mistakes. I made sure to mind all of these gems beforehand so I didn't waste any more time. And with the power of editing, that will take about 10 seconds for you. But I promise you, it was so much longer. So very much longer. That's one itty bitty favour completed for two 10,000 XP lamps, which is a huge boost to my hit points level, and it's where we are going to end today's venture. Venture? Adventure. These are the stats we finished today's episode with. If you've enjoyed watching, consider subscribing and joining my Discord. Three lucky winners got a Justice Year set, and I'm currently giving away an AGS. And the bounty has increased again by 5 mil, 17 mil, and 8 mil, which now puts the bounty at 150 million gold pennies. Wait a minute! Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!